What Deion Sanders is doing in Colorado seems a bit calculated. I'm like, you don't say. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. Please give us a like, comment, share, subscribe. All that will be greatly appreciated by myself. Now, what am I talking about here? I'm going to read this article in a second. But this writer said it seems a bit calculated that he's referring to all the players he's getting out of Tallahassee, Florida State. Well, first of all, I'm like, you don't think it's calculated? Of course it's calculated. If my memory serves me correctly, Coach Prime played at Florida State, correct? Why don't you think he has connections? He's one of the biggest names in football, even though he's retired. He's still one of the biggest names in football. Now, Colorado is the biggest draw in football. So, of course, he got connections all over the place. He has former players he used to play with. Maybe they have family members that are thinking about looking for a program or thinking about transferring and they may come up to Colorado. Who knows? He's not going to get every player that he wants, but he's putting it. What I'm looking at now, he, he's putting together while everybody keep talking about what type of season he's going to have. He's putting together a roster that can win. That's what it looks like to me. And I said this before, as long as you get the personnel, the right personnel on the field, you can win. It's not rocket science here. Of course, the team last year went 1-11. They didn't have the right personnel on the field. It could have been a combination of the two. Maybe they didn't have the right coaching. They had injuries. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. But you need the right personnel on the field. What do I mean by that? You need the players that can play, that can match up to the USC's of the world and UCLA's and Georgia's and things like that. Now, this article here, I'm going to read some of it. It says Deion Sanders is in the middle of completely rebuilding a Colorado program that only won one game last season. That's why he's letting a lot of people in the roster go. You know, this is crazy why they think this is like unprecedented. And he did it before at Jackson State. So they said that led to a total disarray as the returning roster crumbles while Sanders continued to add players out of the NCAA transfer portal. It's getting to the point where he should really start thanking Florida State for all the help. <laughs> They're saying that Coach Prime need to be thanking Florida State. But on Friday, former Seminole safety Travis J announced on social media that he was continuing his college career with the Buffaloes. J is the fifth player in counting that was on Florida State's roster a season ago to transfer to Colorado within the last 16 days. For math's sake, this is what they're saying, for math's sake, if Sanders somehow gets the program back up to 85% scholarship, one thirteenth of the players on that team will have begun their careers in Tallahassee. That's nearly 8% of the scholarship players. This is unprecedented. Here they go with this unprecedented again. This is unprecedented, and it's starting to feel like somewhat calculated. You don't think. I mean, what do they not think he doesn't have the mental capacity to do this man the media is strange man since i've been covering colorado like the media is just they're not even accurate and it's sad you know at the same time the biggest blow of the five de deflections to colorado is a marion cooper who was set to play a rational role in the back end this upcoming season Derek mcclendon bishop thomas and brendan grant have also landed in Boulder. Jay entered the transfer portal during the final days of the spring window. He was not spotted at practice following Florida State's second scrimmage of the spring and didn't attend the spring showcase. Jay was ineligible to play this past season, but ended up dressing for the Cheese It Bowl victory against Oklahoma following the con conclusion of the fall semester. The local product of Madison County didn't live up to expectations that were on his shoulders coming to Tallahassee. Okay, so it seemed like they're now they're trying to talk down on the transfer now. Okay, I see what they're doing. Jay was unable to play in the two of his four years with the program. He appeared in 16 games with three starts in the 2021 season while spending time at cornerback and on special teams, Jay totaled 43 tackles, three interceptions, one forced fumble, and four pass breakups during his time with the Seminoles. All right, 
So not only are they keep going at um, Coach Prime, they're also talking about the transfers now, saying little things here and there. I see what's going on. They keep saying this is unprecedented. Uh, let me just say it one more time. It sounds like I'm a broken record at this point. It's not unprecedented what he's doing. He did it at Jackson State. It's not unprecedented. He literally brought 70 players in and started winning. And um, I don't get it with these writers, man. I just don't get it. I really don't. And But he's, he's slowly putting a team together that's, that's literally better than the team last year. And that's a fact. And um, we're just going to have to wait and see what kind of season they're going to have. But it seemed like people already got it figured out already. One per, one writer said that they're guaranteed to win three games, and that's it. I mean, unless they know something I don't know about maybe the games are fixed. I don't know. Maybe they know that, and I don't know that. But um, they're really sure about it. But um, it's really interesting, though. But at the same time, I think they low-key like to talk about uh, Coach Prime. Like, this is exciting to them. This is giving them a lot of material to write on. You know what I mean? But anyway, drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel. I will catch you on the next video. But before I go, please give us a like. Comment below. Subscribe. Share. All of that would be greatly appreciated. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.